and it's against the background of the Theodosian dynasty, the reign of Theodosius I, that we must set the spiritual journey of this man, Augustine. Augustine's biography captures in depth all the forces at work in the fourth century. The broad menu of diverse religious choices. The mixture of classical and Christian ideas in a late Roman world that is still very much the Roman Empire, a world of Roman law, a world of Roman cities, a world of this world dominant empire. His life captures for us the meaning of mass conversion. What it would mean for a church to be a dominant public institution and not a persecuted minority. His life and his thought capture for us the significance of what it means for a church to have power. Even coercion at its disposal. Augustine's life and thought reveal for us the need for systematic Christian theology in the fourth and fifth centuries. If Origen is the first systematic theologian in Christianity, Augustine is the greatest systematic theologian. Write that down. That's not just my opinion. Augustine is the greatest systematic theologian in Christian history. You can agree or disagree that some of his theology is consistent or satisfying, but he thinks through at a level, at a breadth that none before him had. The meaning of such basic things is time, faith, the will, sin, the church, and history. And his theology grows out of his personal experiences. It's grounded in the world that he inhabits. And above all, the single great unresolved problem of that world. The tension between ascetic Christianity with its radical commitments to the gospel and imperial Christianity. The Christianity of wealth and power. You might say the Christianity of Anthony and the Christianity of Constantine. It is Augustine who is able to reconcile these into a coherent Christianity.